As we go through this spring calving season, I think it's relatively important that we keep in mind the nutritional changes that uh, are required for these cows as they go from being late gest gestation cows and early lactation cows or those right after calving because their nutrient requirements do increase quite a little bit. For instance, if we've got a 1200 pound cow in a late pregnancy, she requires about 1.9 pounds of crude protein every day. And in terms of energy, and we refer to total digestible nutrients as uh, TDN, that's the form of energy most people are, are comfortable talking about. That cow requires 12.9 pounds of TDN every day. Once she's had that calf and starts to give milk, that changes dramatically. Her protein requirement jumps up to 2.9 pounds per head per day, which represents about a 52% increase in the protein that she needs. Her energy requirement goes up to 16.8 pounds, and that uh, represents a 30% increase in energy that that cow needs just due to the fact that she's uh, started into the early stages of lactation. I think we need to keep in mind also that that cow will consume just a little bit more voluntarily because she's a lactating beef cow. We'll see that the cow that's uh, the 1,200 pound gestating cow voluntarily consume about 24 pounds of 100% dry matter feed. After she's calved, even though she's lost some weight due to the, the fluid loss, the calving loss, placental weight loss, that 1,100 pound cow that's lactating now will consume about 29 pounds of dry matter feed, and that's a 20% increase. That means that we probably need to increase the quality of her diet which in my mind means we probably need to increase the amount of supplement that that cow's consuming. For instance, if we've been feeding a 30% crude protein supplement, if we increase the feed by 3.3 pounds per head per day, that'll make up that difference in the protein needs of that cow and do a great deal in terms of meeting the increased energy needs plus the fact that we know that cow will consume just a little bit more in terms of the hay that we put out and the two things combined should meet her energy needs. Go to SunUp's uh, website, that's sunup.okstate.edu, look under show links and we've got a link there to an excellent, excellent uh, pamphlet done by Dr. Dave Lawman here at OSU and it will be a real helpful uh, piece of information for you as you figure out what uh, feed you need for your cattle each time uh, during the different parts of the year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.